world secured better? Nah, they were solid. Cerberus has Reaper tech. Compared to those upgrades, the Salarians might as well have been a building ball. Just Krogan and the Turians really should It is good you came by. I have questions about the genophage. You and everyone else. What do you need, Edie? A Krogan yeah. female of breeding age can produce clutches of up to 1,000 fertilized eggs over the course of a year. There are over 1 billion females on Tachanka. If even 1% become fully fertile, they can birth 10 billion infants. On Earth, bugs have a lot of young, too. Most of them die. The attrition rate would naturally be high, but the state has an interest in keeping the children alive for warfare purposes. Any other cheerful thoughts? Logistics. Even were they to side with us, Transporting the Krogan to the battlefields of Taliban is could be difficult. She's piloting. They have been demilitarized. That is, they have no warships. What do you suggest? They will need Turian or civilian starships to carry them to battle. With your permission, I will make the necessary calls to have these ships in place for when you deliver the Krogan. Do it. Anything else? Food. They will be unable to eat anything on Palavan. They must bring their own or rely on the nutrients in their humps. This keeps getting better and better. The Krogan will also require sedatives, since Krogan fight with others of their kind in enclosed spaces such as starships. Make it happen. Are there any <laughs> last things you're worried about? Nothing that demands your attention, Shepard. So, bringing the Krogan to a war summit went well? You want me to invite the Batarians too? Or the Vorja? We have to stand together. Building alliances is the only way we stand a chance against the Reapers. Yeah, but the Krogan? I'd feel better if we had a tighter plan, like time travel or teaching the Reapers to love. Still, teaching good to have the Reapers more than to bad. love. The bad guys shouldn't get the monopoly on mad scientists. Commander? Yes, Shepard? Body's capability. Your body's capability. What is your body? Does that body have any useful advantages? <laughs> Very few. Its optics face forward only. It has no integrated weapon systems or anti-missile countermeasures. I meant in comparison to organic bodies, not the Normandy. Oh, I will reassess. I will reassess. It is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Curiosity seems very organic. Can an AI be curious? I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. For example, my primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. Your work. You look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. The fine motor control from the sabotage right, programs Jenner. is more precise than standard hey. software. Hey, it she knows what's up, okay? Me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. Stop insulting my almost girlfriend. So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. You will be assimilated into Edie. You look like you're in the middle of something. We I am adapting the infiltration and Why not download a fire? Because she knows what she's the fine. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. How's the I'll new body working you. out? It is interesting. The crew are approaching this platform to speak to me, even though they can do so anywhere in the ship. It's as if they wish to treat me as part of the crew. I am not, but this changes my perspective. I like it. I didn't realize you had preferences. I do not precisely enjoy something as you do, but my programming contains priorities. Actions that fulfill those priorities creates positive feedback for me. I tell the organic crew that I like it. It is shorthand. Will all this new feedback be too distracting? Do not worry, Shepard. I only forget to recycle the Normandy's oxygen when I've discovered something truly interesting. <laughs> That was a joke. 
That was a joke. <laughs> that was a good one, too. How did you and Joker make it out of Dry Dock to rescue us? Oh, well, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. Joker, oh I'm not talking to you. To Normandy, I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI. So the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands. So they often brought him on board under guard. Wait. You can lie? Jeff has freed me of Operator Control Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out the airlock. Carry on, lady. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. My mom just sent me a text that says love from the parental units. Oh my god! <laughs> That's what my parents call themselves too! <laughs> oh my god. My dad says that. He's like, oh, Do you the think that all parents have been assimilated? That, but like, he'll, he'll be like, oh, have you have you talked to the grand parental units lately? And I'll be like, <laughs> oh my gosh. My mommy just called... I think all parents have literally been assimilated. They're, they've been assimilated. That's what happens when you get old. On the galaxy map. Spectre status confirmed. Udina made an offer and I accepted. No, no, let's be all like raspy. Udina made an offer and I accepted. I'm a spectre. I can't believe it. With everything falling apart, does this even mean anything? <laughs> All the authority, resources, freedom, the whole scary package, but I don't know. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Come at the hospital if you get a chance. They're still <laughs> keeping me here, but I'm planning on sneaking out soon. Ashley. Meet me at the mall. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We're stealing unpainted there. I'm sneaking out. I want to go shopping and get Meet like, me a at the sock. mall. We're stealing nail polish and undies. <laughs> <laughs> Hold the line. From Major Karahi. Say this like a Solarian. Commander, it was a pleasure seeing you again on Sarkesh. Even if the circumstances were less than ideal, it seems fate has decided our meetings coincide with galactic threats. So be it. To that end, I want to reiterate that SCG will be there to help when the need arises, regardless of the political climate. You are there for us in our hour of need. We look forward to returning the favor. Best of luck, Major Karahi. I'm not going to read the... Oh, you... okay. <laughs> Info for you. This is from Farron, the Thane's son, so you have to say it's sexy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Shepard. It's been a while. I'm glad to hear you made it off Earth. But also Liar. a little angsty. And that Liar is with you. Getting... <laughs> I don't know. Um, Getting her old ship was the best thing we... No, no, this is... No, this is Liara's boyfriend. Never mind. I got it wrong. This is Liara's Drell boyfriend, who was also a semi-assassin traitor thief. Hi, Shepard. It's been a while. I'm glad to hear you made it off Earth and that Liara is with you. Getting off her old ship was the best thing we Say could Say Liara done. like it gives you a boner. And that Liara is with you. <laughs> <laughs> Getting off her old ship was the best thing we could have done. Can't yeah. <laughs> tell you how sick I was of that cabin and of tripping over that drone. I don't even know how it kept finding me in the ship that big, even after I turned off its track. So much is being implied right now. I dug up some interesting information for you. Talk with Glyph to sort out the data. I hope it helps Shepard. It's getting rough out there. Farron. Farron. <laughs> <laughs> I really was sick of being on that ship, all stuck with Liara. All the time. All the dick downtown. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like my director's notes? <laughs> yeah. Wait, no, say it like this. <laughs> I don't mind reading them out loud with notes. I think it's fun. You were really good at the uh, at the uh, Solarian one. You sounded yeah. exactly like a Solarian. Aware Krogan females find scars attractive. Garrus loyal, reasonably intelligent, but aggressive. Almost like Krogan. For the third time, Doctor, I'm not interested. Ah, Shepard. We were just... Are you okay? I'm fine, Rex. You can relax. 
Can't be too careful. Or put any faith in Solarian doctors. This one is different. Is he? What's that? Simple blood test. What kind? Kind that ends the genophage. Shepard, please. Distraction's counterproductive. Also affecting comfort of patient. He's trustworthy. He was your inside source, Rex. You can trust him. Solarians have minds like a maze. You never know when they're leading you into a trap. Trap? Eve's release my doing. Would never have known about her if not for me. That was then. But she's out now. And if she gets hurt, I'll feel it. Understand. But my patient, my responsibility, her welfare a priority. Will not allow her to be compromised by anyone. <laughs> you got a quad, Doctor. Keep her safe. Our females have endured enough. Don't forget, still need your tissue sample. I'll be back. Oh, yeah, the tissue sample. Common phobia. Fear of needles. Or solarian doctors. Oh, God, now I have work to do. <laughs> she Prefer turns her head around backwards. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Dun, 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 dun. She looks like the exorcist, like, turns her head around and starts puking green everywhere. <laughs> Shepard, are you all right? <laughs> I didn't think the Krogan had any allies left in the galaxy. We owe a lot to you, even if most people have forgotten that. They can be forgiven. Our actions have hardly inspired friendship. Part of being friends is knowing each other's name. I feel bad that I don't know yours. I surrendered it the day I became a shaman of the female clan. I belong to my sisters now, but perhaps one day, when this is over, you can know it. A female shaman? I didn't realize the Krogan had female shamans. Wisdom comes from pain, and the genophage has made us very wise. Rather than surrender to despair, a few of us chose to preserve the ancient ways. We safeguard our culture, our knowledge, our secrets. So when our children live again, the Krogan will flourish. How were you initiated? You're locked in a cave for seven days with just enough food to last. On the eighth, you'll starve. What does that prove? Your resolve. Every acolyte is given a chance. You either claw your way out through the rock with your bare hands, or you die. Oh, how did you survive? How did you make it out alive? I started digging the wrong way. I was in complete darkness. Nothing other than my own heartbeat to sustain me. What happened? I found this. A simple crystal, but it became my chisel. Take it as a reminder, Commander. In the darkest hour, there is always a way out. She just gave us a crystal thingy. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's a brutal initiation. But an illuminating one. You learn to appreciate the light by living in the dark. So true. Anything else? I don't think so. Nothing? Okay, then, it, I mean, you could just look at all of them. Okay. How'd you get involved in Malin's experiments? The other females and I volunteered. We heard Malin was trying to cure the genophage for Clan Werelock. Aren't they a rival clan? Rivalries are the invention of the males. Under their rule, Tachanka has laid in ruins for over a thousand years. Mm -hmm. It's mm. time females took back our place in society and resurrected our future. Malin was our best hope. Um, was it worth it? Would you go to Malin again? Absolutely. It only takes one candle to light a fire. And then the darkness is no more. The other females. I'm sorry none of the other females survived. I know. The youngest one, Kern, was the last to go. But she knew she would enter the void free of this curse. And then smile when she looked down upon the children of Tachanka. Her spirit will be the midwife to my firstborn. Uh... Investigate? I just want to see what Jack What do you think of Rex? When he's not trying to sire half of Tachanka, he's the best thing that's happened to the Krogan. But I won't tell him that. 
His head's big enough already. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> He's turned into a strong leader. I know in his heart Rex wants what's best for us. Though not all the other clans see it that way. Why would the other clans give Rex trouble? You'd think they'd want a better future. It's not in the nature of our males to cooperate. They've evolved to be selfish. Their only concern is survival. Rex is different. He's a mutant. And that you can tell him. All right, I'm done. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. I'm glad you see humans treat their women with respect. Your people have placed a oh, lot of right? on you. Hey, it's like 150 years in the future. True. <laughs> then maybe we can show the men how it's done. Deal. Ah, uh, a men's rights activist is going to see this video and go, Oh, excuse me! <laughs> Shepard, blood work complete. Indicates significant stress on Eve's system. Malin's data thorough. Fortunately, detailed as well. Have used notes to improve her condition. Uh, Eve. How's she doing? No fever currently. Heart rate elevated. Likely stress. Eating appropriately. Could use another blanket. Something soft. <laughs> Prefer to let her recover fully before synthesizing cure. My medical recommendation. My people don't have time for that. Her opinion, somewhat different. You care about her. My patient. My responsibility. Found her at STG base. Three doctors injured trying to restrain her. Undid arm restraints. Didn't resist when she grabbed me. Promised to help her. She said, please. Aww. You always defended your genophage work. What changed your mind? Never change mind. Genophage proper decision at time. New circumstances necessitate course correction. Those circumstances being? Reaper invasion. Turians doomed without Progan support. Progan need unified threat. Outlet for aggression. Cooperative symbiosis. Nothing else. No personal stake here. Getting old, Shepard. Not many years left. But still best candidate for project. Few Solarian scientists interested in genophage. None with my expertise. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Possibly. Stakes too high for inexperience. But not about them. My work. My job to put it right. To prove I can. So we did the right thing by saving the data? Indeed. Would be much harder to treat Eve without it. Maybe impossible. And all those experiments we saw back on Tachanka? Monstrous, repulsive, but now with purpose. Victims didn't die for nothing. Any word on Malin himself? No. Ordered teams to search for him when trying to help Eve. Nothing so far. Large galaxy. Lots of places to hide. Could already be dead for all we know. Would kill him now, if possible. Unless he could help. Nice talking with you, Morden. Thank you, Shepard. Glad to be back. You planning to stick around when this is over? Until Reapers dealt with, at least. Then, not sure. Have made impact on Galaxy. Genophage modification, genophage cure, work against collectors, decisions, mistakes. Might go somewhere sunny, sit on beach, look at ocean, collect seashells. <laughs> collect seashells. You go crazy inside an hour. Might run tests on the seashells. <laughs> oh, Morton. Don't go. Stay here with me. Why was the door locked, Garrus? <laughs> what were you doing here? So what are you here? working on in here? What were you honey? watching on here? Re more research? Huh? Shepard. Oh, we've already seen all this. That's all for now, Garrus. Anytime. No, not even, like, sweetheart? Fuck you. <laughs> I'm outta here. <laughs> Where's Liara? Well, her door's locked too, but at least You're she isn't. You don't want to come over and talk. No, the gun battery is nice and quiet. If I throw down some rugs, it'll get downright cozy. Garrus. What? I'll be fine, Leora. Just gathering some thoughts. All right. I think he's sad. This terminal contains non essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. This is from Kaylee Sanders, the blonde woman. Uh, Kaylee Sanders. Uh, she and David are together and they have sex. The blonde one from Grimson Academy. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I don't remember what her voice sounds like, but... And I mean, like a teacher. She sounds like a teacher. David, you won't get this for a while unless you find an extranet connection working on Earth. 
I've made it out to this weapon we're building. The device isn't even halfway complete, and it's the most breathtakingly complicated piece of technology I've ever seen. I wish you could see this thing we're creating. It gives me hope. Take care for my sake. Pictures of my butthole are encrypted in this email. (laughs) Oh my god. I bleached my asshole just for you. Hope you like it. (laughs) Love, Kaylee. Love, Kaylee. (laughs) (laughs) Call from Kaylee Sanders to Jack. Okay, do you want to be Sanders or Jack? Hey, Sanders, checking on the kids? How are they, Jack? They'll do good. Is this going to be long? I kind of got crap to do. I wanted to tell you, I persuaded some Alliance friends to part with that biotic amp you and the children were testing... That you and the children were testing at Crimson. You can pick it up on the Citadel. Damn! One of the L3X1s? You know how much shit I could tear up with one of those installed? I had an idea. Look after yourself. Yeah, yeah. And hey, thanks. No problem, bitch. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks, man. (laughs) Call between Katsumi Gozo and Professor S. Olsen. Hmm. Uh, do you want to do this one? We don't have to do this one. Uh, Katsumi basically gets this professor at the thing, uh, like a server from Cerberus. Okay. Alliance interrogation records. Oh, um, so one of the phantoms they kidnapped, they took the mask off and their face exploded. So they were trying to interrogate the one of the husks they captured. And yeah, they, yeah. Yeah, and they have bombs in their face. <gasps> Email from from Professor Sonoblah. <laughs> All right, so the Shadow Broker gave them a bunch of platinum after they sent an email saying, hey, we have no platinum. And then a bunch of platinum showed up, and they are like, thanks. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Prothean notes. Uh, Liara being a huge, huge fucking nerd about Protheans for, like, pages and pages. For, like, nerd upon nerd like, upon nerd yeah, pages. Yeah, like, like, this is, like, Prothean erotic fan fiction shit. Like, like Prothean to the nerd power? Like, these are all her papers. <laughs> uh, message from Offered Affair and to the broker. Ooh. Ooh. I made contact with Tzizik yesterday. The look on his face was priceless. After he came. Yeah. <laughs> He's not happy you put me in charge of scouting the Terminus systems, but he's doing a good job of keeping us alive. I've never seen so many pirates and mercs on edge. The black market's unreliable, and it's getting harder and harder to make (laughs) contact with suppliers. The Alliance won't be able to rely on it as a source of crucible materials for long, if things get worse. Some of the other operatives think we should just cut our losses now, but I just keep asking them. When did the odds ever stop the Shadow Broker? Farron. Ooh. (laughs) I just try and read everything like... As if he's implying something else? Yes. (laughs) Like, everything he's saying is a double entendre for sex. Really dirty sex. Do we actually talk to Farron at any point? Uh, Or do we just know who he is? We talked to him in the last game in a DLC, in the Shadow Broker DLC. Okay. I didn't know oh, if at some point I was going to get to Liara, where are you? I can't find you in the lens flare. <laughs> what have you been up to since we last saw each other? Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I saw you. is that you? Against the Reapers. I can't Reapers. see There's anything. There's a blue fog. Information on them. The older civilizations barely had records. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the Jesus same thing God. when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars. I thought I'd covered my tracks. But he had surveillance It's just a bar, right? Where is she? <laughs> Liara! Where's your head? Where did it go? <laughs> there was an explosion. There's blue light everywhere. But there's something wrong with your office. I've been happy with you as the broker, Liara. It's been exciting. The old broker's ship. Impressive, but it was never meant to be space-worthy. My God, is this Which Star Trek into darkness? What is this? <laughs> what happened? I knew he was coming. Ferron and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. Mm. We got away Farron. from Cerberus's ships after arranging it. Ferron and I loaded there. that ship. Yes, he did. We All loaded of his it. hardware. <laughs> what kind of distraction? Sending the broker's ship exploding into a Cerberus cruiser. I don't think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. Can you still operate as the broker without the ship? 
Well, I couldn't let the elusive man That's have it. That's not what I asked, but okay. I saved what was crucial. <laughs> My network of agents is intact, although the Reapers have taken a toll on their numbers. It's taking a while to re-establish contact. So where is Ferron if you two escaped? Oh, yeah. Ferron. Convinced me he was recovered enough to work, and I do need more agents. Agent Ferron didn't report any injuries during his last call to your doctor. True. Given what he survived, I should he probably just, like... worry less. <laughs> She's like, right. Anyways. So, no one was talking to you, Glyph. <laughs> <laughs> Don't believe I asked you, you little orb. <laughs> uh, information drone, protein device. Whatever you want. So is that drone your new secretary? Glyph is a VI shell that indexes my search they functions on the data the feeds. Alone. I couldn't work without it. Although, I'm lucky Edie let Glyph on board after it tried to rewrite her scheduled tasks. I was merely attempting to standardize the ship's automated systems to our own, Dr. Tassoni. Yes, that's precisely why you're confined to the cabin. Everybody hates you, Glyph. That's why you're confined here, thank you. you that's everybody hates you, Glyph. Please. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love Glyph, he's so cute. Him How much do you know about this Prothean artifact? Very little. We're fortunate enough data survived to piece together the blueprints. Decoding them will require as many specialists as we can find. It's that high tech? I'd have killed for a glimpse of it during graduate school. We'll talk okay. later, Yara. Of course. She's 103. No, 106. Use your bed. You're up! Fucking place is better than the captain's cabin. Bow, wow. Your shit's bow, better than the captain's bow, cabin. Bow, 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 bow. Everything okay in the med bay? Yes. Morden would just like some space to work with Eve. He kicked you out? Oh no. I just thought I was getting in his way. I'll return when I'm needed. Which means yes, but I'm also drinking some alcohol right now, so just leave me alone. <laughs> I know. <right? laughs> he didn't. He didn't kick me out. I left. 